Item number SCP-3337 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures A top has been placed over SCP-3337 for the convenience of others. Description SCP-3337 is the corpse of Site Director Kieran Backlin. It is currently in a Site 8 break room. SCP-6337 is a corpse because it doesn't move or speak. Over time, SCP-6337 will leak fluids and produce foul odors. Insects will congregate around it and lay their eggs. Its skin will sag, its eyes will grow dim, and its face will become lined. As preservation sets in, SCP-6337's flesh will lose cohesion and slough off, leaving only its skeleton intact. The skeleton will then eventually erode and become a pile of dust. Decomposition takes about three weeks, depending on the environment surrounding the body. Because the Site 8 brick room is cold and dry, SCP-3337 will be preserved for a long time before decomposition begins. Temperature analysis of the body shows that it is still warm, despite the diversity of carrion insects at Site 8. No insects have been found on SCP-3337. To facilitate scientific understanding, Site 8 researchers have been given access to the big room cameras to observe SCP-6337. A forum will be held at the end of the day to discuss their findings. Addendum 6337-1 Discovery SCP-6337 was discovered after senior researcher Hoyer entered the break room and inferred that it was a corpse. 2007, December 26th, 7.12 a.m. Senior researcher Hoyer enters the break room. SCP-6337 is seated at one of the tables, its face buried inside a chocolate cake. What are you doing? You can't sleep here. Hello? Senior researcher Hoyer approaches SCP-6337 and claps 23 times. Oh, it's a corpse. Senior researcher Hoya leaves. Addendum 6337-2 Observation SCP-6337 was observed by SCP staff. 2007, December 26th, 9.51 a.m. Senior researcher Hoya and Agent Sean enter the break room. They are each carrying a plate of food. SCP-6337 is seated at one of the tables. Its face is inside a chocolate cake. The, um, the lights. If you point at a camera at them, you can see lines crawling down the room. Uh-huh. Have you seen that before? Senior researcher Hoya takes a seat at an empty table. Agent Schwann pulls the chair opposite to her, but accidentally snags the top of SCP-6337. Oh, sorry. Agent Schwann smiles politely at SCP-6337, then sits down. So, I'm wondering if... The same thing happens when you look at ceiling fans, right? Does that mean fluorescent lights blink really, really fast all the time? TV screens also do the same thing. Because they're on the same frame rate, right? But why do lights need to do that? I don't know. It saves money, I think. SCP-6337 slowly lifts its head. Huh? How much money would that actually save over a long period of time? Um, it adds up, probably. It's probably cheap to make them do that. So it saves them much more money than it costs. Weird. Yeah. Five minutes passed. I found a pregnant cat under a train. Oh, nice. Senior researcher Hoyer and Agent Schwann continue eating. 
Addendum 6337-3 Findings At noon, Site 8 researchers convened to discuss their findings. After a brief meeting, several action plans were present. Author, Senior Researcher Hoya Proposal, subject SCP-6337 to the water cycle by putting it in the river. Result, denied due to environmental concerns. Author, Containment Officer Camellia. Proposal, bury SCP-6337 with its liquor collection to honor its interest in life. Result, denied due to promotion of immoral behaviors. Author, Ethics Committee Official Petrie. Proposal, cast SCP-6337 in cement to commemorate its existence. Result, approved. Addendum 6337-4 Results Local blacksmiths were invited to the Site 8 brick room. They placed SCP-6337 inside a plaster cast and poured wax on it to create a mold. However, midway through this process, SCP-6337 woke up. This is a log of the interaction. 2007, December 26, 12.39pm Blacksmith Herbert pours wax on top of SCP-6337 and wakes up and starts yelling. What's up? Wax fills SCP-6337's mouth. It stops moving after a while. The resulting mold was used to create a concrete statue of SCP-6337. It was placed in the Site 8 brick room to commemorate SCP-6337's existence. Staff are encouraged to visit the statue while they are on brick and reflect on their life.